Here I want to solve the Hermite equation and show you how one can get uh, polynomial solutions from this equation. So the Hermite equation is y double prime minus 2xy prime plus 2 lambda y equals 0. And we'll, what we will see is that for integer values of lambda, positive integer values, we'll be able to uh, pull out uh, polynomial solutions. Okay, so our approach will be by power series. So we're going to try uh, the power series solution, y of x equals the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of a sub n times x to the n. And we substitute into this equation. So <coughs> the second derivative, the first two terms will be 0. So we have uh, n equals 2 to infinity. Then we'll have uh, um, an n and an n minus 1 times uh, <coughs> a sub n times x to the n minus 2. And then a minus, so 2x times y prime. So that will zero the first term in the power series. So we'll have n equals 1 to infinity and uh, 2. Uh, the y prime will bring down an n times uh, a sub n. And then we multiply x times the derivative of x to the n will give us back an x to the n. That will cover this term, plus 2 lambda y. So plus the sum from n equals 0 to infinity. Um, 2 lambda a sub n x to the n. And all of that is supposed to be equal to 0. OK? So to um, solve this uh, power series solution, we need to uh, put this as a single power series. We have x to the n here, x to the n here, x to the n minus 2 here. So what we need to do is shift this index um, down by 2, so we can raise this up to x to the n. Then we'll start from n equals 0. And uh, here we start from n equals 1, but we can replace that by 0 because we're multiplying by n. So we can put this as the sum from n equals 0 to infinity. We shift this index. So and this gets shifted down to 0, so these have to be shifted up by 2. So we have an n plus 2 and an n plus 1 and an a sub n plus 2. And that will become an x to the n. So we're going to be multiplying this coefficient by x to the n. And then uh, we combine these two. So we have a uh, plus uh, 2, and then we have a lambda minus n. <coughs> and uh, multiplied by a n. And then that gets multiplied by x to the n. So they all then have a common x to the n. And that's supposed to be equal to 0. OK? So now we have a single power series. And we can set this coefficient here to 0. That will give us a recursion relation. So we will end up uh, solving for a sub n plus 2. We will end up with a sub n plus 2. Uh, bring this on the right hand side. So we have uh, minus 2 lambda minus n times a sub n. And that will be divided by n plus 2 times n plus 1. OK? So that's our recursion relation. Um, now we can uh, obtain then uh, two independent series. So if we start with 
n equals 0, we'll get a0 here, and this will be a2. We put in a2, we get a4, etc. And if we start with n equals 1, we'll have an a1 here, that will give us a3. We put an a3 here, that will give us a5, etc. So let's figure out what those values are. So if we start with uh, a0, then when we put n equals 0 here, we'll get an a2. So a2 is um, putting in n equals 0, it will be minus 2 lambda over n equals 0, 2 times 1, and that will be uh, a0. And then the next term would be a4, putting in n equals 2 here, so it will be minus 2 times uh, lambda minus 2, a2. Let me write that down. Minus 2 times lambda minus 2, a2, over 4 times 3. And uh, we substitute in the value of a2, so that means this one will become a4 equals a2 is minus 2 lambda, so minus 2 times minus 2, so we'll have 2 squared uh, lambda minus 2 times lambda times a0 over uh, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, so that's 4 factorial. Okay, so we got uh, a0, a2 in terms of a0, a4 in terms of a0, and so on. Okay? So this becomes a uh, power series. This is one of our power series, right? One of our uh, power series here. One of our solutions, I can call that y0, is going to be uh, a0 times 1 um, minus 2 lambda over 2 times 1 is 2 factorial, and that's an x squared, plus uh, 2 squared lambda minus 2 times lambda over 4 factorial, and that's an x to the fourth minus so on okay so that is one of our solutions to the Hermite equation okay we can get another solution now starting with a1 so let's look at this one first um, if we look at this solution we see that it will can become a polynomial if lambda is zero then all of these terms will be 0. So if lambda equals 0, one of the solutions is a polynomial. So um, if lambda, let me write that down. If lambda equals 0, then one of the solutions here, so let me just put it, call it y, is a constant, is a solution, right? Now, uh, if lambda, the next one, if lambda equals 2, then this term is 0, and then because the coefficients are uh, proportional to the previous one, all of the other terms are 0. So if lambda equals 2, we only have these two terms, and then uh, a solution here would be a0 times 1 minus 2 times 2 over 2 factorial, which is uh, 4 over 2 is 2, minus 2x squared. So we have a polynomial solution when lambda equals 2. Okay. 
And then finally, let me do the last one that we can see easily. If lambda equals 4, this term's not 0, but the next term here in the sum is going to be 0, because it's lambda, lambda minus 2. The next term here will be lambda, lambda minus 2, lambda minus 4. So in that case, we will end up with a solution a0 times 1 minus if lambda equals 4, then it would be minus 4x squared. And if lambda equals 4 here, it would be plus um, 2 times 4. So the 4 here cancels the 4 here. So it's a 3, 2 times 3 in the denominator and a 2 here. So we'll end up with a 3 here and lambda equals 4, so it will be 4 thirds x to the fourth, and all the other terms would be 0. Okay. So these are, um, for lambda equals 0, we have this polynomial solution. From lambda equals 2, we have this one, and for lambda equals 4, we have this one. These are actually uh, Hermite polynomials. So let me show you how we get a her Hermite polynomial. Okay, uh, the normalization used by physicists is that the coefficient of x squared, or the coefficient of x to the nth for the highest power here, is two to the nth. Okay, so here it's x to the zero. So here, the physicists would for the poly for the Hermite polynomial would choose a0 equal to 1. Here, this coefficient here should be 2 squared, should be plus 4. So here, in order to make this coefficient plus 4, we would choose a0 equal to minus 2. And here, this coefficient of x to the fourth should be 2 to the fourth which is 2 times 2, 4 times 4, 16. This one should be 16. In order to make that one 16, we should take a0 equals 4 times 3, right? So 12, OK? So with those choices for a0, we get the first, the, uh, first three even Hermite polynomials, which I can write down. It's called h0 of x that one would be 1, and h2 of x, that one would be uh, with a0 equals minus 2, so we would have a 4x squared minus 2, and then h4 of x would have uh, 16 x to the fourth, so a naught is 12, so minus uh, 48 x squared uh, plus 12. Okay, so those would be the first three even Hermite polynomials. All right, now if we want to find the odd Hermite polynomials. We need to start with um, n equals 1, and then determine a3, and then determine a5, and um, write down the series, write down the polynomials. So for lambda equals 1, lambda equals 3, and lambda equals 5 and then determine the normalizations. And we can pull out the, um, the three odd, first three odd polynomials, OK? Um, I'll leave that as an exercise.